think you can't make art, you can. There is no rule. There are no rules. I'm an artist, and day and night, I live it, I eat it, I sleep it, I dream it. I am an artist, a crazy one, but that's what I am. I'm Sue Kreisman. I'm 81 and a half years old, <laughs> getting older every minute. <laughs> I was always told that I was very bad at art. I used to be a cookbook author, wrote 27 cookbooks, cooked on television, traveled all over the world cooking for people, um, you know, in cooking theaters. But then at 58, I was sitting at a table correcting the proofs of my 27th cookbook, I picked up a marker and my hand drew a mermaid on a piece of paper. It was like this kind of folk art mermaid with a fish as a hat and snakes. And I never did such a thing in my life. From that moment on, I was a different person. I was an artist. And I became obsessed with drawing. Absolutely obsessed. Never wrote another cookbook. <laughs> How do I describe my art? I guess I'm what's called an outsider artist, and that means working way outside the margins of the regular art world, which is fine with me. And because I had my big career, I'm not interested in selling. I'm making my art for myself, and when other people like it, I'm delighted. My art is very shamanistic. In many ways, it's very childish. It's very, very, very colorful. Um, I'm an assemblage artist. I assemble, I love junk. That's why every week I go to the flea market. Oh my God, I love junk. And I love taking detritus. It's almost like being an archeologist. And my art is about the female landscape. It's always about women. This is where I work. It's a great big shed. It's full of my materials. And right now I'm working on several of my found object sculptures. They, they're essentially anthropomorphic memory jugs and always have a female theme. And they tell stories. They tell stories about femininity and also my personal mythology. And this is going to be about the goddess phone. And here's the goddess phone. You dial any goddess you want and the goddess will answer. Doesn't my art have a mission? You know, if I'm an outsider artist, I'm doing it for the sheer visceral joy of doing it. When you're an outsider artist like me and many people I know, the art does not come from your head. There's no plan. It doesn't come from the heart. It comes from the gut. And then suddenly it just is. It, it almost makes itself. Some people walk through this life, not on their feet, but on their face. When I first burst into art, I didn't tell most of my friends. And at that time, I didn't have that weird and colorful artistic group of friends that I have now. I had fairly, I don't want to say ordinary because they were nice people, but damn it, they were fairly ordinary. Um, and I, I didn't even tell them. Um, my family, yes, they were gobsmacked, you know, what happened to mother? <laughs> my family were very supportive, and my husband thinks something as he said, this is Dave and Picasso. I said, well, honey, I don't know if we'd go that far. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me what you do. Tell me what you do. And I'm living a dream right now. I really am, because all my friends are artists. We believe in color. Most of us are outside the artists. So our work is wild and bold and often very crazy. And uh, yes, it's, it's a dream come true. Without a love in your heart, 